Hello everyone, my name is Mohammed Radwan, I'm a Visual Studio ALM MVP and DevOps Practice Lead. So today I'm going to explain and walk you through the new tool and enhancement for continuous delivery and DevOps with Visual Studio 2017. So we are going to talk about the continuous delivery extension. So let's start the demo by showing you that. So first, I will just launch the Visual Studio 2017, going tools, extension, and updates, and select online, and just type the name of the extension, which is continuous. This will load all the extension with this name. So I will pick the continuous delivery tool for Visual Studio. Then I will download this extension. Then I need to close the Visual Studio to continue and install this extension. Now it's installed. Launch the Visual Studio again. So let's create a new team project on VSTS or Visual Studio Team Service. So I will just connect to my account. So just I need to type my Microsoft account. I prefer to show you the, the whole experience and the walkthrough. So just ask me for the password. Once I type my accounts, I can log into all my VSTS account under my Microsoft account. So I will load one of, of Microsoft account, then going to this project any pro I can go to any project because I will create a new project on that one so let's click here on home project and new team project so in, in this part I will create new and I will name the project VS 2017 I prefer to using scrum this is a personal preferences and get so the first part it just open the project I just created on BSTS. So again, connecting to my Microsoft account, loading, loading that account and choosing the project I just created. I just need to clone that project locally. So I will click clone. This will clone the project to my local repository. I need to confirm the password because this machine is Windows to uh, server 2016 which is more security anyway I will just click on new here to try to create a new project mm -hmm. now let's get back to the team explorer then going to create new and I will just create a simple web application I will just I prefer the MVC so this will create a project very easy. Then going to the change, I start to commit this change to my local repository. So now it's now it's committed. Then I need to push that change to the VSTS. So now it's pushed everything working fine. Click sync again to make sure that nothing on the cloud is not synced with my local repository. So just to open the code to make sure I have the code here. So the code as we can see it's here. Going to this is the extension and I will configure the extension. We can see it's load the repository, the branch, and also by default create an app services with the name of the project. So just to open my Azure account and to see all my resource groups, which I have now. So we can see that I only have four resource group. And if I click OK, then it will start first creating a, a new resource group called VS, VS 2017 demo. Let's refresh to see that.
So as we can see, the resource group created automatically, or successfully, then start to continue. Okay, it, it seems there is an error because it couldn't create an app service with this name because it's already exists. VS 2017 demo because it's a unique URL under Azure. So I just need to pick a unique name. So I will just go for the app services here and click edit, which will open the configuration here and just type 2017 here. So this will be a unique name. I don't think that there is any application like that. And I will choose from here the same resource group because I don't want to create a new resource group. I will just use the same resource group created earlier. Click OK. If we're looking at the output, we can see that the app service created successfully and the setup has been running. So if we go here, we can see that I have the app services. And if I go for my PSTS project to the build to see what's happening, still not created yet. So let me show you the notification of the creation and the setup. So if you can see the CI and the CD uh, is set up, which is working now. Let's refresh. Yes, as we can see now, the build is working and in it is in progress. So I'm waiting for the host. If I go for the release, I, I can see the build definition also created and waiting to the build to finish. So the main idea that automatically create a build definition and trigger that build automatically. So now the build is running, completed. Now the release will start running to pick the build and automatically, and as we can see, it is in progress. So it just depicts the build. So let's open the web app so we can see that it's just a public application on Azure. So and this is how the empty web app on Azure. So let's see after we complete the deployment to the cloud, this app service, refresh this page. So as we can see now, it co completed the, the deployment. So let's make an, a small change to, to show how this is very easily to commit that change to the continuous delivery and DevOps pipeline. So we, I will just add welcome to Visual Studio 2017. And just save the project. The same I will just commit the changes locally. Commit. Then push that change to the VSTS. This will automatically again trigger the build and release after that. So going to the build. Yes, it's in progress as we can see. Let's open the build. So now it's running. Now if we go for release, the release in progress. Just waiting for to complete. And just refresh to make sure now it's completed. So if I refresh my web application, I can see the new change has been deployed to the cloud. So very easy. I can also go to select the notification for which build I want to make sure about that and then open the details for the build from here very easily to navigate to the build. Also part of this extension is to support uh, a build failure so I can understand if my, my build failed. So let's first to make a, a, a build that fails. So I will go for the controller in my MVC application and type anything. I will just type my name just to make the application fail and then build this application, commit that change. Push that change to VSTS. This will automatically again 
triggers a build completed then triggers a release but yes to make sure that notification is working and let's wait for that so as we can see the build is failed so and the notification show me and if I open that I can very easily navigate to the, the build that failed and I can investigate about the failure reason and problem so I can solve that thanks for watching the video please if you have any question uh, just visit my blog muhammadradwan.com and leave your questions and I will try to get back to you as soon as I can thank you